everyone, this is Marty Kokish. Welcome to Marty's Garage. Um, I'm as as you can see, there's still an engine in the car, um, but it's really goddamn cold, and uh, haven't been doing a whole lot of work. You can see it's starting to get a little bit more bare in this area. And uh, if you go over here and you look at the uh, the interior, you can see I've kind of Kind of got the seats and everything out of here, so um, that's my dog squeaking, FYI. <laughs> um, so I don't know, there's definite, definite progress, but uh, it's going slow. I'm cold. <laughs> and, uh, but I don't know, I thought I'd, I've done this before, but the first time I did it, it was a royal pain in the ass, so I, I figured I'd share with you. Um, but that's uh, removing this uh, heater unit. Um, it kind of looks easy at first. It uh, looks like you just uh, pull this screw up here and then there's some screws around the base. And if you did that, you'll find that it's going nowhere. And I've already got it undone, so I'll kind of show you why. It's because it actually extends down a little bit into uh, the firewall area here. Um, and we've got some... Uh, uh, I don't know, some venting stuff here, but uh, um, let me just put this back in. But in order to get this out, I'll just put that back in for now. Um, we come over here. Um, first, you gotta uh, undo it from the inside. Um, so, to start out, you're gonna have to take out your center console. Um, First, you'll pull out this piece that goes right here, um, underneath the armrest deal. There's just a screw that you'd be taking out, and then the, that kind of pulls out. The actual center console, there's uh, uh, two screws on each side, and then you can kind of slide it forward. And uh, all this wiring and stuff here, you'll have to like disconnect uh, your, your stereo if you have one in there, um, cigarette lighter. Uh, hazard switch and so on and, and just kind of pull that out and then that whole assembly will just pull out. Um, and then, uh, I'm going to open the door and get in here. And then you can kind of see behind there. Um, let me just kind of cram that in there. Um, it's really lit up, you can barely see it. You can barely see it? It's too late. Uh, we'll just kind of go in here a little bit. Um, you can kind of see that. I've got it undone already, but um, uh, what you'll have to do is where those holes are, these tubes connect to, uh, that go up towards the, uh, uh, the defrost. So you'll pull these out, and then underneath those, you'll see my car was actually missing these, so I bought them. But uh, you'll see some tubes like this. They just pull right out. Um, and then after that, the control uh, hooks to uh, uh, the side of that heater box and flips it between uh, uh, defrost and I think the it just shoots it down into the floor or something. I don't know, whatever. But there's this knob here that's still connected. It's got a cable that runs to it. So um, we've got to get that out of there. Um, I think what I, I've, I've left it undone since I changed it the first time, but uh, what, you, what you'll end up doing, here's, you, you, you pull off the knob and uh, you'll kind of see, there you get this in there. You'll see this like poking through there. Um, and there's a, uh, there's just a little nut on there, you can see, um, that you'll have to undo. Um, and then you'll be able to pull this out. After that, um, and just loosen this up so it, so it lays down. Uh, then after, the, after that, you'll be able to uh, kind of lift this out a little bit. And, uh, as you can see on the side right here, this is where it hooks into. Uh, you just disconnect it there and you'll be able to pull this out. Um, it's kind of 
gem yeah. grouping. So thing. you can kind of see how it works here. This uh, flips from directing the heat out here. If you open it up, it closes this off, and then it just uh, shoots it straight down. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave this off. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, that, that's about it for today. I hope that, that makes some of your lives easier. <laughs> Thanks for watching.